I am pissed off. I am embarrassed. I am pissed off about a great many things, but none more so than the fact that I'm standing here without the AEW World Championship. The only material possession in the world that matters to me, but the belt itself, it's just metal, it's just leather, there's a bunch of them, you can buy one online yourself, put it up on your wall, that doesn't mean anything. What means something to me is what the AEW World Championship represents. And that means something to me, and that means something to a lot of people. The AEW World Championship represents passion for this sport, passion for this business. It represents the passion of the guys and girls in the back and the fans that fill the arenas and watch at home. Those three letters in the AEW World Championship, they represent heroes during a pandemic at a time when the world needed heroes. It represents the dream, the vision that we all had when we started this thing years ago. And we wanted to show the world just what wrestling could be. The AEW World Championship represents taking the dark and ugly side of this business and letting it die with another generation. The World Championship represents the freedom to be as great as you are willing to dare to be. The AEW World Championship means being better than I was the day before, even if it's just a little bit better, even if nobody notices but me. That World Championship represents slaying demons. That World Championship represents everything I love about this business. This is great. Very powerful, very passionate. I love it. But the fact remains, on Sunday, I lost. And that's on me. That's my fault. I made mistakes. I got pinned. That's on me. I missed the game-winning shot. And I was supposed to be on vacation right now, like, till about two days ago. But here's another chance to take another shot when the game's on the line, this tournament of champions, and it's one hell of a shot. That's one hell of a big rock to push all the way to the top of hill, uh, the hill again. Chris Jericho, the greatest of all time. Brian Danielson the best pure wrestler to ever step foot in a ring, a better wrestler than I'll ever be. Darby Allen, Hangman Page, Sammy Guevara, three dudes all younger than me, faster than me, more naturally gifted than I could ever be. So yeah, that's a hell of a shot. But winners always want the ball when the game is on the line, the ace always wants the ball and I want the ball so hell yeah I'm gonna take the shot guys I literally have goosebumps this is powerful man because this isn't just time to win this isn't just the fourth quarter this isn't just winning time right now this is time to be a legend.